Hey cats, what's happening? Oh my gosh. Seven degrees today. It is cold. Cold, baby. Let's go on inside the house where it's warm and we'll talk. It's the end of an era for old school bikers. And we'll tell you why. V and I were talking the other day and she said, uh, hey, are we going to the Easy Riders Custom Bike Show this year? And I said, I don't know, let me go online, see when it is. And if uh, last year it was in Cincinnati, Ohio, so it was like a four hour drive for us. So if I have to make reservations for a hotel, I'll need to do that. <clears throat> they always have the Custom Bike Show in the winter when the weather's lousy, and that's cool. And uh, so I go online and I'm trying to find the Easy Riders Bike Show. And all I can find is the 2019 Easy Riders Bike Show, which was last year. And I keep searching, searching, and I see Easy Riders Bike Show 2021. Well, that's next year. Where's this year? Well, the more I dove into it, I found out that there is no Easy Riders Bike Show this year. In fact, Easy Riders, as we once knew it, <whistles> down the drain, poof, gone. Yeah, the old Easy Riders is gone. The Easy Riders, uh, as we once knew it, was started in 1970 by a guy by the name of Joe Tedesi. And I really liked the magazine for a while there. I had a subscription to it. It was what I like to call old school biker stuff. They also had another publication that I liked called In the Wind and that was like a spin-off to Easy Riders published by the same company. I believe the company was called Paisano Industries or something like that. Uh, they had a series of other magazines too such as uh, Rebel Rods, uh, Tattoo they did, uh, Road Iron, was another magazine they did but in the wind was all pictures basically of like bikers just out having fun and doing what they do in the wind i loved that magazine and it wasn't on the on the uh, rack very long but easy riders has uh kind of stood the test of time and and was for a long time could be found on any newsstand <clears throat> when the magazine was first uh, published. It was pretty hardcore. It was old school biker stuff. It was all about Harleys, V twins, custom stuff. Uh, you know, bobbers and and build jobs that that people did. And uh, there was articles about wrenching on bikes. Uh, there was articles that were uh, bashing up the rice. Uh, they, they were pretty much pro American motorcycle, and that was that was the bottom line. It was pretty hardcore magazine and that's what I liked about it but after that <clears throat> you know it, the, the company really began to grow and they started having these rallies so they had the uh, Easy Riders rodeos which were pretty cool big you know weekend long parties and the one I always went to was in Chillicothe Ohio uh, then they also had in the winter time the uh, Easy Riders custom bike shows. Uh, after a while you couldn't find it anymore unless you had a subscription. Well that's all gone by the wayside. In fact some of these guys that have had uh, subscriptions to the magazine weren't getting their magazines anymore and they complained about it and Easy Riders basically said sorry we done. We ain't got no more magazines for you. We went down the drain. Basically what they've done is gone by the wayside just like so many other biker events are starting to wane off and I'm not sure what's what's you know I guess it's just human nature over over long term periods over eras where things change and we can see the biker world changing too. I'm an old guy so as we knew the biker world back in our day is just not the same anymore. No, it has uh, gone to the millennials, and the millennials don't care 
about the old school stuff that we are dear to. So one of the things that uh, went by the wayside has been Easy Riders. There's not going to be any more Easy Riders custom bike shows. There, I think that the uh, Easy Riders rodeos may continue on, from what I'm hearing, but they won't, and they may use the term or the the title Easy Riders Rodeo. But the company of Easy Riders uh, is no longer, so they've sold the rights to the to the Easy Riders uh, tag that label. And it's going to be used other ways. In fact, the company that owns it now, I believe, is a uh, millennial yuppie uh, clothing company. And they have said that uh, they will be selling clothing with the Easy Riders logo that uh, could be found in boutique shops. Boutique shops? What? 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 <laughs> This was Easy Riders. These were old school bikers. Now they're, ugh. Oh, oh. It's a sin, but that's what happens. So that name will remain, but the products and the history behind it is gone too. You may know the famous photographer uh, Michael Lichter. He was actually employed by Easy Riders, and when you went to the Easy Rider events, uh, Michael Lichter was there doing photos of, of custom bikes and stuff. And he's got some pretty famous posters and stuff that are available, but they, when they began to fall apart, they let him go. They couldn't keep him on board anymore. They also eventually got to the point where they let go of their publisher and they couldn't produce the magazines anymore. All they were doing was the bike show and the, the Easy Riders Rodeo. And eventually, I mean, last year when we went to the Easy Riders Rodeo, and, or not the rodeo, but when we went to the Easy Riders uh, Custom Bike Show in Cincinnati, the attendance was really down from what we had seen in the past, which was kind of surprising, kind of sad, but... So yeah, what's going to happen in the future of motorcycling? As you know, Harley-Davidson has kind of seen some decline. They've struggled. Uh, they're currently trying to come up with some new ideas. The new electric bike, the live wire. I don't know how that's going to fly. I've seen it. I've talked about it. And uh, I don't know, when you ride a motorcycle that doesn't even sound like a motorcycle it sounds like a vacuum cleaner and then it's going to take ten and a half hours to recharge it after you run the battery down how's that going to work um, they've also got some other models that are completely different from the classic Harley Davidson that we have grown to know so the whole world of motorcycles is morphing into a millennial type of a thing. What's up with millennials? It's like they're really not into that old school structure that we knew. They're, it, it, it's completely changing. I guess that's just human nature. That's how things happen. You know, things change. You can't always keep it the same. <laughs> and I'm getting to be old, so, you know, the millennials kind of want to push the old fuddy-duddies out of the way and move in with their new ideas and there's not much we can do about it anyway guys we will continue to ride uh, we will continue to hold true to some of our old school beliefs hopefully we can continue on with the rallies and perhaps even some custom bike shows but Easy Riders, as we knew it, is gone by the wayside. Say goodbye. Bye-bye. Uh, if you liked my videos, hit that like button. And uh, share them with your friends. Let your friends know about us. And get them on board with watching our videos, too. Thanks for all your support and your faithfulness. And... Uh, Hey, until next time guys, ride hard and die free.